What's up guys, it's Skeeter, and I'm back with another Xbox Series X video, and this time it is Alan Wake's turn, yo. This video actually serves a dual purpose. It's actually part 14 of a series I was working on back before the pandemic shut everything down, and I just kind of stopped doing it. But anyway, so, do I need to break, break a window or something? Can I just, oh, okay, I guess I talked to this dude. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you. I don't like how he's holding his fingers. fingers. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. All right then, sweater guy. This corridor is for patients. Most of them are supposed to be Hartman? Right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly Splendid. believe we can get this thing under control if we should kick him in together. his ass. <laughs> I wish you could. This way, Alan. Kick him right in his butthole. You want me to get on this old ass elevator? Why are you holding your hand like that? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice I think he's got a fake hand. Dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking. An obsession about light and darkness. Unusual thinking. Everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been. Is that what he was doing? He was holding a key that whole time. of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless yeah, yeah. You fight the That's fantasy, what they always say. Will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. You got a sundial. What does that say? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ. Thomas Zane? In the memory of a dear friend and a poet. And Tenebrus Kader? Kadir? That means, uh, it's 12 o'clock. It's always 12 o'clock. Can I just throw this dude over this fence and go? I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Uh-oh. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Why are you still well, on your hand like matter. that? This way. Follow me. I should punch this guy in his bald spot Alan, and take what off. what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. 
After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Yeah. Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's because you walk upstairs you weird. Think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. I'm in the obviously one trying loved to bring you voice. out of the world. His words echoed madly <laughs> inside my head. But I can't. I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. How about I just elbow you in the head with that Come sweet on. ass patch Let's on my inside. elbow? The hell is that? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Are we done yet? I got stuff to do. What was that? Scary, scary, scary. What's the thermos? Let me grab that real quick. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. Your head's bigger That's than it should be for your body, dude. We're actually making some progress with him. Who are you? Happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, of course. Yeah, she must have taken her meds. Small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Yeah. All right then, dude. Come, Alan. This way. Ah. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, did I just break the window? You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome. I am not reading all that. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh. That's what, what is this? Is that a book? I hope it wipes Night place Springs. Off oh, that's the TV show. The earth. Yeah, box set. And oh, that's a bit, uh, board game. Okay. Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a. How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm they don't look like they have dementia. The rock and roll lifestyle My grandma had dementia. Its mark. She wasn't just sitting there doing stuff like that. No, she was breaking shit all the time. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Nope. I think I'm gonna get out of here. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, man? Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we? Bro? Tom. He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Hey, uh, would you have it? Was this? Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Poems taking form, 
shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up, but Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. All right, then. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. Can't go I was that way. convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. They did. Yeah, good thing you Except for that purple hammer he hit me with. Anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. All right, gotcha. then. Let's go back to our rooms and try to move this story forward. Oh, what the hell is that? Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is <laughs> I saw her again. She's I should go human. do that. To somebody's living room window, dark presence is just looking at like that. Woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a whole hey, wait, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Who's the talking? Writer's in your room. Mistake. I oh, he's down there talking. Closer to saving Alice. It's been lying well, I guess I'll go do that. Is that not my room? Okay, this is my room. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Having withdrawals. Need some Mountain Dew. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Sure thing, dude. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hand? I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from the old Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now. What do you do? Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't. Are you with a hammer? The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. I'm taking it. Hmm. Dude locked himself in. Those old dudes are crazy. Just whacked her in the head with a hammer. That is Barry. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right. That is my gun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Yeah. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Yeah, Barry. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. You have nothing to offer, Hartman. Well, sucks to be him. What was that smirk on his face? Let's get the hell out of this place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This way. Okay. Oh, it's getting closer. Is that what it's doing? Oh, man. Can I go 
upstairs? Should I go upstairs? Oh yeah. How do you run? Okay. Couldn't remember that for a minute. Focus. Oh, they're throwing plants or furniture at me again. Hopefully that takes care of it. Yeah, I don't have a flashlight yet. Wait, 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 wait. Thermos. I wonder what... Oh, that was lightning. I wonder what the thermoses are, besides just collectibles. I know you get an achievement for collecting them all. Oh, man. Can I get a flashlight? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, man, you get... Oh, come on, man. You hit me in my pancreas. Come on. How come you won't run? Oh, there he goes. Clear. Kick that in. What is that in the doorway? Giant turds? Manuscript. Where is some more... going on with it does that open the door yeah I think it does okay so I gotta trick it into coming down here oh man come on what is that chandelier That was close. Let me get up out of here. Come on, man. I don't want that thing hit me in my, my ball sack. The door's locked. What the hell am I supposed to do here? This door? No. I don't have any, um... I don't know what to do. Oh, never mind. Let's use that thing to open the door. Come through. Come on, dude. Stupid ball. Come bust this door open for me. Okay. I gotta dodge this thing. Oh, I didn't dodge it. <laughs> I didn't do a good job. I pushed the button too late. Oh, what is going on? Read. Suspended Lauren Miller, 1989. I see something shining back here. I'm going to go grab that. Shut up, Barry. Mm. Don't see any more manuscript pages. Yeah, I know. I know you are, Barry. You're gonna have to give me that flashlight, dude. The gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. How come I can't just climb oh, the gate? God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. What else is gonna hit me? That thing? I guess. Oh yeah, I got batteries. This Barry gave me some batteries. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, man. Okay, let's go hide in the light. Uh, I'm trying to, Barry. This way? Yeah. This is some kind of maze. Barry. 
Shut your face. Uh-oh. Get out of here, Randall. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> What's that say? Don't trust Emil. Emil Hartman? Is that the, I think that's the doctor. Uh oh. That's the sign the dude's coming. I'm trying to be careful, man. I hear him too. Get out of here, Billy. Okay, that's a dead end. We go this way. What was that? I hear something. Oh, there's one. That's a big dude. How many bullets is this gonna take? Okay, that was four. I got flares. I guess I gotta go that way. I didn't say that very uh clearly. I guess I have to go that way. Am I going the right way? Oh, I am. Who's talking? Look at those birds. I'm gonna have to finish this Let's Play series. Or whatever. Alright, here, bird. Is that Hartman? No, that's the, uh, the orderly. I forget his name. But you're gonna die here, dude, so it doesn't matter. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to draw him in. I don't think I got the birds. Oh, come on, bird. I gotta get rid of these things. Where are you some bitches at? Yeah, get out of here. Mm, I don't see any supplies. more birds though there's some supplies with a shotgun get my health back checkpoint reach proceed through the garden no there was nothing I don't like how he whoa 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 I pushed the button I was gonna get hit again, but I risked it anyway. Oh no. Oh no. Is that light off? Yeah, it is. Damn it. 
I was gonna go get my health back. So that's why I don't like jogging when there's no dudes because they just pop up on you like that. And then you can't dodge. What was I doing there? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? Yeah, wheel build. I think I just wasted a battery. Emil made Tom do it. Okay. I need to reload my... Yeah, I do. Guess I can't pick that up. Get through this. Yeah, I knew I heard something. Oh! Too fast for you, dude. Bam! Bam! Let's get closer. Damn, I used all my shotgun ammo on those guys. It's gotta be a stash around here somewhere. Okay, it's this way. Flare gun, flare ammo. Let's put that up so I don't waste it on the first dude I see. Damn, man. The birds just <laughs> keep hearing things, but it's always the birds. Reload the shotgun. Switch back to the pistol for now. The revolver. Grab that. Is that Barry? Actually, hold on. There might be some kind of boss dude I gotta kill first. I guess not. Ow! You're oh, alive. what is going on? Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Well, Barry. do it. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so uh. Just open the door. Oh, it is the dude. Can I control? Oh, there's a lot of them. Barry! Hurry up, Barry! Come on! I'm on it! I want them all to get closer. Two of them out. Shoot this guy with it. Man, open the door. I'm about finding the quarter. Yeah, I should have saved those uh those flares. Open the door. They're throwing stuff at me, baby. I shouldn't have shot at him that far away. I would have shotgun. Is that a cop? There's a cop hat. Like a sheriff. Ugh. Get out of here, man. You're too close. There he. Oh, he opened the gate. <laughs> Been there fighting for no reason. For the nearest, you're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. All right then, Barry. 